let's take what we learned in the last couple of lessons and put them together to build a program that actually does something useful. Let's build our own simple calculator. All right, if you still have this project, Project 1 open, let's go ahead and close it now. Let's close that and close the form. And let's come up and click on File, and then New Project. We're going to create a new project. Now, if we hadn't saved our changes to our last project we just had open, it's going to ask us if we want to save changes to the following files, our VBP, our project file, and our FRM, our form file. Let's go ahead and say yes. That will save those. And now we're prompted for the new project. What kind of project do we want to create? Well, again, we're going to create a standard EXE, a standard executable program. Let's click on OK. And here we are with a blank new form and a blank new project. Now, here's what we're going to do for this project. We're going to build a simple calculator. I want two text boxes where the user can enter in two numbers, a command button that they can then click on, and then a third text box that will have the answer in it. So let's start out by putting a text box. Let's click on the text box control here and draw a text box. There we go. Let's change this guy's name. Let's call this our first number. And I'm going to scroll down and find text right here and get rid of that. I hate that, by the way. I wish text would start off blank, but it doesn't. All right. Now, we need to make two more of these guys, right? We need to make one more for another number to go into and then one more for the answer. So let's just try copying and pasting this thing. So let's click on the text box and we'll hit copy and then paste. And hold on a second. Visual Basic is saying you already have a control named first number. Do you want to create a control array? Hmm. Well, we haven't talked about control arrays yet, and we're not going to get into them today. So for today, let's just say no. And there we go. We should get our text box right up here. Let's click on it and drag it down underneath the first one. A control array is basically a way of grouping similar controls together, like a bunch of text boxes. We're going to talk about them in a future class, but they're a little bit beyond the scope of today's class. Let's go over here and change the name of this one. Let's change the name of this one to second number. So now we have first number and second number. And notice the benefit of copying and pasting it is that the text field here is blank because we copied the other one. It will copy over almost any of the properties except, of course, for its name. Let's make one more copy, copy, and paste. Control A, no thank you. And we'll drag this guy down here in the bottom. That's where our answer will go. So let's name this guy answer. So now we have first number, second number, and answer. All right, now we need a command button in the middle here that we can click on and add these two values up here and put them down the bottom. So let's click on Command button, draw a button in the middle. It says Command 1. Let's change its properties. Let's give it a good name. Let's call it Calculate. That will be the name of the button, Calculate button. Let's change its caption to calculate. That's what actually goes on the button. And now let's go ahead and actually run our program. Let's click on the Start button. And here we go. Type in a value up top like 5, and then 7, and hit Calculate. And, oh, wait a minute. We forgot to put programming in our button, right? The program just doesn't know what we want it to do. We have to actually tell it what to do. So let's put some programming in there. Let's close our program. 
And let's double click on the calculate button to open up the code window. And here we are inside the calculate button click. This is a private subroutine, which means only this form can use it. Whatever text I type in between the private sub and the end sub will run whenever the user clicks on the calculate button button on the form. Let's hit enter a couple times here. Enter, enter. I'll go back up and then tab in. And now let's think, what do we want to do with this program? I've got two text boxes, first number and second number. I want to then add their values together and put them here in the answer text box. So here's how we're going to type it in. We're going to say answer equals first number plus second number. And then press enter. Basically, you do the math backwards. The name of the control goes first, answer, in this case it's the answer text box, is going to be set equal to the first number text box plus the second number text box. Let's see how this works now. Let's go ahead and run our program. Let's click on the start button. And here we are. Let's type in 10. And then I'll tab down and then type in 25. And then I'll click on my calculate button. And wait a minute. That's not quite right. We've got 1025. Hmm. What happened? Well, essentially, Visual Basic is going to treat those text boxes as text, not numbers. So anything you type in there is going to be treated like text. Right? I could type in here, Richard, and then my last name, Ross, and then hit Calculate, and it's going to add those two things together. It's going to treat them like text. So what we have to first do is we have to tell Visual Basic, hey, Treat these as numbers, not as text. Give me the value of the numbers in these boxes, and don't treat this stuff as text. So how do we do that? Well, let's close our program. And here we are back inside of our code. Let's click right here in front of first number and type in the word val, V-A-L, and then open parentheses. And then just come over here to the end of the word first number and put a close parenthesis. That's the val function. Basically, it's going to take that first number field, that text box, whatever's in there, and convert it to a number. The value. Let's do the same thing over here for second number. Val, open parentheses, close parentheses. So answer is going to be set equal to the value of the first number plus the value of the second number. Let's go ahead now and run our program. Let's see if we got it. Let's type in 10 and then 15 and calculate and oh, it's a beautiful thing. Again, give yourself a little golf clap, round of applause. But you can see how the val function took the text box, took the text out of the box and converted it to a number. If you've taken my Excel class, for example, you're familiar with the sum function and the average function. Functions take data and give you back some other data. In this case, the val function took the text string 10 and converted it to the number 10, the value 10. We'll see a lot more functions as we go on with this course. For now, let's go ahead and close our program. And I'll close the code window. And now we've made our first simple calculator.